Hey, yo, it's me, Absarik, and welcome to Last on Earth Survival. So I have so much to tell you guys. So many cool things are coming to Last on Earth, and actually, I don't even know where I should start from. I think let's start from saying that chopper skill and ATV skill is going to disappear. Developers are working on reworking skills in Last on Earth, and they've decided to remove a motorcycle driver skill as well as the ATV driver. I'm not really sure what's gonna happen about other skills, but the point is, this information is coming to those people who are planning maybe to buy packs or something to unlock that ATV skill or to unlock that motorcycle driver skill so that you don't waste your money. You can probably wait a little bit. And one day such skills as motorcycle driver skill is going to disappear. But again, nobody knows actually when this update is gonna come out. It's not coming this update. It might come out like in a month. It might come out in two months. It might come out in two weeks. Nobody knows when this update is going to be out. But if you're just trying to buy backs, for example, to unlock your ATV driver skill, in my opinion, it doesn't really make much sense now. So I'll just save that up. So this was one of the news and let's hop to some more saucy stuff. So let's actually start from here. Developers have shared this under development section and what they're working on right now. So basically this is the plan for outpost and settlers probably. Let's actually read what developers have to say. It's Thursday, which means it's time for another post in the under development section. In a recent roadmap, we shared with you the idea of two updates, outposts and settlers, which caused a lot of excitement among our players. Today, we're going to tell you about them a little more. The concept of these updates has changed a few times during the development, growing bigger. Finally, we decided to unite them into one massive update and develop it into something more ambitious than initially intended. Currently, the settlers are at the early stage of development and are not expected expected to get out in the near future. However, we would like to share with you a sketch that will give you an idea of this update. So settlers and outposts are gonna come in one massive update and they said that uh, they are still in early stages of development. And I mean, that's understandable, like... We're not expecting this update to come out this update, even though that would be great. But they saying it's not going to come out soon. But the most exciting thing is that they're working on that. And I'm so glad the developers are showing things that they are working on. And they are, I'm very excited to see that this is going to come out to last on Earth. Maybe in a couple of updates, maybe in a week, maybe, maybe in a month, maybe longer. But we should definitely see this update. And it's pretty hard to understand what's going on here on the picture. If you, for example, zoom in, it says like, for example, there's supplies, then storage must be bigger, wheel track and on the very right side is a supply station or outpost. So supply station is going to be something uh, like an outpost. It used to transfer resources between bases and I feel like a lot of people would get excited about this. Oh, we're gonna be able to give stuff to other players, which I really, really doubt. I feel like this is going to be the station where you'd be able to transfer resources from one of your bases to another base because I feel like outpost or that those settlers or whatever other thing is going to be your other base. I'm not really sure though. All resources like something gas gathered at outpost are transferred if there are slots. I don't see what they have to say here. I think they covered that part there intentionally. The problem with the car solved originally the pickup truck by player automatically stationed. Initially player can view something something if the triggered pickup from the side and something more which I don't really understand but there is another picture that might clarify something and as we can see there is totally full picture of how those settlers are gonna look like or outposts. I think outposts and settlers are both gonna look the same and guys you know what my prediction is going to be that all this place will have to be repaired because as you can see there is a lot of broken houses there is that bloke broken helicopter and I'm pretty confident that we will have to repair that helicopter from here that we will have to repair those Garages or whatever those things are There's a lot of things to work on and in the and in the down corner guys. There is a pickup truck I feel like we will have to repair our pickup truck and With this pickup truck we will be able guys to drive to the Outpost or to the settlers location and I wouldn't be even surprised if this is a multiplayer location or something bigger Like definitely guys this outpost and settlers location is gonna be so something freaking huge because I mean there's a lot of things to do and we've heard the developers said that we will have to build something here so I am pretty confident that we will have to repair those things that we will have to repair the helicopter we will have to repair the warehouse we will have to repair the garages here and we will have to repair our pickup truck there's and there's plus little baby bunker I feel like there's so much things coming to last on earth and I feel like this 2019 year is going to be huge I mean I don't think we have seen any great concept any great uh, things as this one because I mean right now here we know that developers are working on that developers have shown us in the past like for example one building or one character and people were just speculating but here guys it's completely new area and I don't think we've ever gotten 
such a huge sneak peek as this one. So it's something new. That's why I'm so much excited. Plus there is like some sort of a bridge. I have no idea, guys. There are so much things going going on. So much stuff coming to last on Earth. Maybe with these settlers and outposts, uh, we're gonna have like multiplayer raids. We will be able to raid other people with that. But this is just my guess. I might be totally wrong with that. So this is something completely new that developers have shared with us. They've never shared such things in the past. I mean, they've shared smaller things, not such a huge variety of things coming into one update. So I'm really excited about that, guys. And hopefully all that is going to come as soon as possible. And also, I'm very, very excited that developers are sharing all of those things with the community because it's always better to see what developers are working on. I'm always excited to see that developers are working on something new and they're sharing that with their community. It's way better than just getting no information. I'm so glad that they decided to share so much stuff in the beginning of 2019 and guys uh, active skill update should be coming out soon i mean today is friday i mean and we still didn't get it i don't think that it's gonna come out today maybe but i doubt it and at all, even if that active skill mod update is going to come out this update, I mean, this is just a speculation of what we know from the cipher, but I feel like it should be coming out. It always, after those ciphers, we always got the update, like, in a span of two, three days, max week, so we should be definitely getting that update soon, hopefully. We already got so much stuff, and this game is still in beta. I think I haven't been excited about Lies on Earth for really quite some time, and guys, you also told me that we should start new account here to grind, because I would definitely love to start a playing new account on mobile device, so we might actually start that as well one day maybe even tomorrow because I totally like starting the game out I remember the first time when I started playing it it's so exciting because as of right now I have fully my base is fully developed there's not really many things I can grind here for so for me I'm a bit stuck here so I'd like to start grinding maybe from the beginning at least little by little or something I have some things to gift Jennifer, guys. So you know what? Let's actually pay her a visit. I haven't seen Jennifer for quite some time. So let's go over there. Let's also recycle a couple of batteries. Gonna give her that chopper wheel. And I still haven't resetted my chop bunker alpha. Should have probably done that. Because by now it would have reset it once again. But I thought that update is gonna come out sooner. But it didn't. God damn it. I also have a bunch of northern magazines, guys. Should I read them or should I wait? I feel like... You know what? Let's just read those northern magazines. Even if they're gonna rework the skills. I feel like we're gonna get those different northern magazines. Magazines. You know what? Let's just read them, baby. I had these northern magazines as I'm pretty confident they're gonna rework the skills and totally I don't care about that ADB skill now because most likely it's just going to disappear and chopper skill as well. So whatever, guys. I think we got two points. So let's actually check. Oh, we got three points. Very nice. Well, we got some sort of food restores more health. Uh, we got the freezing thingy and please tell me that we're gonna get like the roll skill. I would love to get the roll skill. Well, we just got the food, guys. That's it. Do I have any Northern Magazine books in my inbox? I doubt that. Nope. So I took a bunch of broken guns so that I just break them and I'll have more space in the base. Like some of you might have told me that I should have just recycled them. But if you recycle these low durability guns, you're usually not going to get anything unless like one spring or something. So it's totally not worth it. I'll just better use all of them and that's it. Wish there was a feature of where you could combine weapons, you know, that would make a little bit more sense. Like it's like ammunition or something. I don't really know, but it would be way better guys to just combine our weapons. This way it would save up a bunch of space, but hey, I don't think we're ever gonna get that feature, but that would be very, very Gucci. It's like, oh, he's gonna pop here a couple of zombies. And I'm actually doing so much stuff here right now at this gas station. I'm getting rid of weapons that I totally don't need at my base. And this way I didn't even have to actually delete them or something. And I'm gonna save up a bunch of more space. Look at that, guys, just shredding these dudes just like that. Super great, that's all I have to say. I literally just deleted like four or five weapons and at the same time I cleared gas station at least a little bit. So I feel like that's a win. And we got, guys, definitely a pine magazine this is my first time where i get a magazine in this area Oof, this is great except that i totally don't need it anymore and i'm really excited what they're gonna do with the skills because uh, with those skills that for example we need now to drive the chopper the roll skill and other skills what they're gonna do with that with extra pockets but i don't know the only thing that i'm excited about is that they're gonna remove that atv driving skill so probably i think they decided that it's a bit weird to just grind maybe one area to get that skill i don't know but the point is i'm excited about all new things coming to last earth whatever let's give her the chopper for very nice very exciting you know what let's give her these atv wheels here as well take them and shut the freak up and where is those wrenches here go let's give wrenches here as well and those two metal scraps should probably come over here here we go guys we gave her everything and let's see how much stuff we 
we're gonna get. I would say like two boxes. One box? Are you kidding me? One freaking box for all of that. Whatever, let's open that out and we got a freaking mechanics box. Oof, a repair kit. Not even something Gucci. Well, that's really sad. If you listen closely, guys, you'd be able to hear Alexa playing Despacito from Sadness. So I highly suggest you checking out my Resident Evil 2 demo. Let's play. Just click here on the first card and you'll go straight away there. Click here on the second card and you'll watch another recommended video just for you. And I'm uploading such videos on YouTube every single day. So make sure to drop that subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. Also, guys, drop that like button while we're at it and peace, 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 peace out. Mm-hmm.